Hi. <laughs> I what is your name? Here. While you're doing the interview, I'm going to ask him. Yeah, now you can't go anywhere. This is what happens if you don't pay your bill in 30 days. Joe. Yeah, you get tired of shit. Come back over. I've known Joe for many years. Uh, and How'd you I, meet? I don't even remember that. I think we were smoking pot on the green. Is that what legal to say? <laughs> yeah, that's legal to say. Yeah. Anyways. You can talk about past misdemeanors now. I used to now. do tag sales and small stuff, and uh, I used to do the same thing a little bit. And we met, and then he told me about this business he was starting, uh, Urban Miners, and I liked his ideas. I still do, and uh, he's doing wonderful things. Can you tell us a little bit about those ideas? Yeah. Uh, re reuse of wood, house parts, architectural parts, radiators, uh, you name it, doorknobs, anything a person would need restoring a house uh, or making a flower bed or making stuff out of wood tables, industrial tables, he's got it all. How do you help Joe in this? Well, if I'm doing a clean out and I have things that pertain to his business, I'm always glad to show him to him and we trade off. He'll give me some obsolete metal and trade for certain items. I do get unusual things sometimes. What's your favorite type of thing that you find that you uh, get into the reuse stream? Well, if you turn your camera to that light right there. Did you find your cabinet yet? It was a day where I came here with a van load of these lights. Uh, they were very expensive originally. They came from, uh, I believe, Union Carbide. And... Uh, I didn't want to scrap them, so Joe got used to them. Excuse me one minute. My